first water break in the mountains. Not a bad spot. This will be my first night in the hammock in uh, over a year. First yeah. bike pack, and here we go. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. Love ya. Love ya. Barry, fire and ice, ready to go. He's gonna bring me out here and make sure I return alive. Got our bikes. There's Bluey right there. Missy's gonna make me name it, so I'll do that. And we're off. Get her done. Well, we've officially made it. We're in Brevard. My main man here, Barry with Fire and Ice Outdoor Gear. Uh, brought me on my first kayaking trip last year. You've seen the Swanee video. I'll pop it up here, but uh, we're gonna be Don't Die version two. He's gonna bring me on my first bike packing trip, but this guy's well versed in it. So we're gonna pop the bikes out. About a three hour drive from the tiny house to get here and we're at Squash Bikes and Brew. And you know, for me, that means I'm gonna probably, well, on the way back, grab a craft brew. We're about to go straight up a mountain for I think 12 miles. Yeah, it's gonna suck. <laughs> Straight up, up, and farther up. So let's see if my uh, legs can kick it here, but let's get after it, man. Yeah, bad. Let's do it. Oh. I'm wicked excited, guys. This is going to be awesome. The bikes here, we're going to get them off, get them out, have lunch, and then head out. Looks like all my packages stayed on the bike on the way here, so that's... Uh, that's a really good thing. I was a little worried about that. We're gonna have some high winds today, as you can probably hear. Downtown Brevard's pretty awesome so far. We're gonna hit it up. Squash Bikes and Brewery. First time here. Barry's been here before. Let me show you around a little bit. Here it is. Pre-trail food. We're gonna get after it, man. Take that thing out. Full size Ruben. How are we going to get anything done? <laughs> oh, I'm still rocking. At least a ton of. I'm, I'm going to go after those. I'm going to burn some carbs today. There's some serious uphills. But bunless burger, a whole bunch of fries. He's going to make just smash this Ruben. And uh, we'll see how this goes. That was delicious. All right, I annihilated a little more of those fries than I considered. I'll burn them off on the uphill. Barry's licking his chops over there. Delicious camp here. First night's camp, squash brew up here. Yeah, that was epic. Grass fed, grass finished burger. Definitely good. Really Gonna get the bikes out, hit the trail. Yeah, so. Let's get it. I'm fat and happy. We're gonna grab the bikes and hit this trail. Try two. He's gonna unlock it now. Two team, this guy. Oh, crap. Street. Damn. Just like that. Front brake. 
Second one is good. I'm only gonna fly one battery anyway, but I finished packing this thing up and we'll be back. So we're good to go. It's gonna be a few hours of riding, rough time, and we'll have some fun. Battery, this time, Barry? Good. You got your battery. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's check it out. I'm excited, guys. Let's get after this stuff. We are officially off. It is. Breezy as hell out here. Simple goals for the weekend. Make it through the trip. Don't die. Make it home. You know, simple stuff. I'm trying to uh, figure this whole thing out here. <laughs> so many cars. Come on, mountains, bring it home. A lot more like it. And this I can appreciate. And we're 15 minutes in, I haven't fallen off the bike yet. All right, we're on a little single track here. Beautiful by the river here, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and I think it just dropped about 20 degrees. Yeah, this is a beautiful area. Oh my God, it's so cool in here. It's a beautiful area though here, it's chugging right along the river. <laughs> yeah, this has been pretty awesome. And you see the river right beside me there. A bunch of fly fishermen. You get used to this. Minute by minute, it's just getting better and better, man. We should be in the mountains a little bit. Those mountains do include a 12 mile uh, up. So uh, yeah, we're gonna see if your boy can make it through that. Uh, bridge on the Art Lobe. Missy and I have hiked over this bridge for Thanksgiving, doing the Art Lobe before. Are they biting today? Uh, I don't know yet. All right. Good luck. Yeah, this looks like the Art Lobe Trailhead. This is uh, where we came in on for Thanksgiving. And there it is. There is the, uh, the Art Lobe Trailhead. I'll slow play this so I don't get uh, decapitated by the fence. Yeah, it rained over the last couple nights here. Uh, so we're definitely getting some mud. No worries. If I'm not getting muddy and dirty, I'm not playing in the mountains. It has just been a beautiful, beautiful ride. We're on the road for uh, about half a mile until we hop off to a little side trail here. About 0.6 Avery Creek Road. Gonna be cruising. So we have a little town traffic. Beautiful parks and forested area touching the art lobe. And uh, now to the highway. See what this brings us to. Yes, I'm already breathing. Whew. Oh, this 12 mile uphill is gonna get me. Cresting that hill. And thank goodness, going downhill. Whew. About another 400 feet, we should be jumping off this highway. Oh, it is windy. You see those twigs coming down?
See those little twigs almost take you out up there? No, man, I was like, <laughs> that is stellar. What up? As Barry said, this would make a damn nice campsite, but we are about to murder ourselves up this hill a little bit. We only went seven miles, so <laughs> we, we need to at least get 25 in. We're, uh, we're gonna be breathing heavy very soon. Hard to leave that though. I love that, man. like love it. Oh. <laughs> Two Rubens and all the uh, methane that you need to keep all us the warm. All the fixings. <laughs> That's what the southern say. Just starting to get, now this is gonna suck. Yeah, he's the veteran, so he does he know I'm gonna on a bike. I'm gonna be crawling up this hill, dragging my bike behind me in about 20 minutes. Yeah, watch any of my hiking videos. He's like running up these trails, so. We, hey. uh, we flip him a little bit. Uh, I'm sprinting past him and he's running and payback. Yeah. He's gonna get me right here. All right. You see how fast he's in front of me? Oh, he ain't joking around. It's been 60 seconds. And I got some burn going. Let's see how far ahead, he, far ahead of me he is around this corner. <laughs> He's a ways. Now I know how he felt with the backpacks on. That is just gorgeous. Oh God, it's been an extremely pretty little hike hike listen to me extremely pretty little bike ride so far just gorgeous oh there's a trail whenever that goes the differences of in the city outskirts the park beside the river now the mountain road yeah man it is gorgeous You might not be able to tell. I can work my butt off in first gear. This is uh, about an eight and a half percent grade. And uh, yeah. Let's see if I don't make it. Get rid of that stuff in that box. You know what I'm talking about. Oh my God. Don't look down at your map if you don't need to. That was a 13% grade. No wonder I'm breathing hard. All right, keep pedaling until I see signs of bear. I'm the rookie. I don't know, I think I'm breathing hard. You've had a break for a while. <laughs> Hashtag. Yeah, it's yeah, very good point. Usually my lower body is on point. 10 months of sitting in South Dakota on flat land. As my man Barry here, Fire Nice Outdoors and Fire Nice Gear products on YouTube. If I get my breath back, I'll say that right. Cancer sucks, man. 10 months in South Dakota. Much love the hot ones. Murphy, you're a rock star. Love you. Breaking water time. All right, back to real life. Break is done. Yep. Now we gotta go back up. That beast. Oh, thank you. I would have forgot to turn any pedal assist on. Try to do that across a, a railroad. Track. All right, back to real life, guys. Oh, all right. After a break, I'm not gonna lie, it feels much better. Might be straight up, but I feel like I'm in the mountains now. Vistas and views beside me. Art Loeb up there. 
holy smokes, this is gorgeous. Seen a bunch of side trails. Not sure what they are. And that's behind me. Straight down. I'm in gear one and uh, double digit grade. Get my groove on. A backpacker's high may have kicked in. That view doesn't hurt. All right, did not take long to get that breath going and for Barry to get ahead of me. Oh boy. <laughs> he is gone and this stuff is getting steep. Oh boy. All right, that didn't last long. Legs are feeling it. That flat part is what I'm going up next. <laughs> Switch back straight up and down. Sure is beautiful out here though. Oh my gosh. Got a little trail to that side. Here's what I just came down, up, excuse me. Ooh. See how far above a road I am. Uh, we're gonna keep hitting switch back hell to get to the top. First water break in the mountains, not a bad spot. As Missy will attest to, I'm one of those freaks in nature. Just loves to wear myself out. I'm sweating like a sieve right now. Layered down as much as I can. Legs are burning. And I'm all smiles. Get to see a little bit of everything so far on the trail. Right now getting to see my butt kicked, but. It's great to be back in this area. We come through once in uh, Eddie Vander, visit close friend and subscriber, Mr. Jay Woots. Been through, oh, it's been a bit now. I wanna say 2017. Missy and I did uh, Art Loeb Loop, a little bit of the MST for Thanksgiving. That got cold as hell in an area where you can't have fires as a fire man. And I'm back again. Bavard area is gorgeous. Known for the land of waterfalls. And on this particular ride, the land of views, it's gorgeous. Oh. Oh gosh, this is a flat part. We're gonna go downhill, not for long, but for a second. Ha, huh. that feels amazing. Hell yeah. Little meandering hills now, little ups and downs, some little puds, and uh, until tomorrow, no more huge climbs, which I can get behind. It is a different view for sure. Downhill, no effort. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. I'm not even pedaling. I'm on top of the world. Bumpy world. off the dirt road back onto a little highway we're gonna skip back on in about a half mile this looks like to be pretty well downhill we're at 27 miles an hour
30. 31. That is the fastest I've been on a bike. I'm trying to get some oomph for this hill. Wish me luck. Don't fall. Yeah. 31 7. Oh. The better part is, I live to tell about it. Hoping not to hit loose gravel once we hit the road. Beautiful views behind me. Let's see. So I think if I'm looking at this hammerhead right, we've done 15.6 miles so far today. And I think we're gonna have about 24 to 27 from right as a total before camp. So I'm thinking about 10 to 11 more miles. Looks like in about seven tenths of a mile, we're gonna be hopping off this road. We'll see what we get up there. All right, we are hitting 22 down a mountain road, so uh, hopefully this goes okay. It is bumpy. We're at, whoa. All right, almost missed the trail there. That was a sharp corner at 24. <laughs> I remember I'm on team don't die. So that was a little sketchy. Let's try this again. I'm gonna keep my speed down. So we got uh, 12 left today. Uh, try to 27. So I got three quarters of a battery left. We got some miles left. Barry's at about 40%, 40 and yeah, we got some so miles got left. Battery. Yeah, he, did, he packed another battery. I didn't. Yeah, but I mean, I got to get half Ooh. of that. I need at least 25. So hopefully he doesn't die and I got to push him. Here's our new friends. <laughs> they were all staring directly up into the mountain, standing still. I'm like, they just saw a bear. No, nah. they saw a bear. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just looking. Yeah. Everything's like a tiger or a bear. Yeah. <laughs> and beginning of this trip, Barry said I could bring another battery or ride solo. Wanted to see what the old Explorer could do. <laughs> really don't want to run our battery before we're back to the vehicle. But so far, so good. Roughly 75% over halfway through the day. Got a big climb tomorrow. Uh, but then the end of this trail is just downhill. The very end, back to the vehicle. Yeah, I could not be happier of how the uh, Trollbox Explorer is going. 50% battery right now. Holding well. So I got in one mile taking a left. So this is the road we were on? That says Upper Cove Creek. And then it says to make a right right there. Uh, it says dead end, but it I'm gonna try to figure out if we were looking at this map right. Took a wrong turn back there, but we got it corrected. So we're going well here. Got an offshoot with some campgrounds, 225A. I 
think we need to keep plugging away to Upper Creek Cove. Can't find the map on this thing, but it's got nice kind of instructions. So I think we're 0.4 ahead. We're gonna continue up here. These views are getting better and better, Barry, with the uh, higher we get. No, yeah. The, the pain and the gain, you know what I mean? <laughs> no pain, no gain, no looking, Paul? Glass? Glass? Yeah. Close. Close enough. Close enough. It's getting crazy downhill here. Ooh. Good lord. Sold our map number two and number three. I think so. There's the water. It's showing water. So I'm assuming the water will be down that way. Uh, yeah. So I think you're looking up here this way, right? I'm looking that way. Oh, I got you. Let's go investigate. We're gonna consult those maps one more time. This way, and it's wanting us to go that way. Okay. So it looks like we're just, it's asking us to do that. Doesn't, doesn't that look like about right? <laughs> The great trail debate. All right. Uh, this is it. I remember this now. This is single track. So close. This is your first taste of single track. It's, uh, Are we ready? Yeah, this is kind of crazy. Hope we're not freaking those guys out. But yeah, we were just right over there and we were kind of mounted it out, blah, blah, blah. There's no marker here. There's a little X right there. Yeah, right behind us there is where we're all getting crazy at. I think we finally found it. 20 minute side track. We got some single track right there to play with. Proper single track now. You ready? All right. This is going to be interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. And here goes nothing. All right, all right now. Get thrown around like a, something that gets thrown around like a rag doll. All right, all right, all right. Boom. Who got that? Was that was that proper? That was fun. That yeah. was uh intriguing. I was just informed that this is the next step. I'm gonna try to jump this first part and land at the end. Let's take a look. I don't know if this shows it, but uh good lord. That's about a 30 foot drop down some some rough stuff. About to get after it. That's crazy. So we're going to end up uh, moving on from here. Not too much of a hammock friendly spot. And uh, then I get to tackle the monster down here today. About another five miles or so. Uh, and we'll get it figured out. I'll show you when we get to camp. All right. Wynn took the bike down. Broke my uh, little thing for my new microphone that Barry's let me try out here. So hopefully the audio will uh, will be good for the rest of the trip. But to let you know, we're going to tackle this down. See if I can take out uh, some type of body part. But I'm hoping I make it all the way down. Make it to camp. Set up the hammocks. 
shit, I don't know, might even put up a movie for the night. We'll movie see. Night. Movie night. Let's see how this goes first. It's tough enough to walk down this, Barry. It's gonna be crazy. Let the entertainment begin. short man's game. Okay. Okay. Yep. Oh. How do you feel? That's even rougher than it looked. Only a couple slips. Uh, <laughs> Almost went down once, but I, I would have went down with the ship, I'm proud to say. We got it. Moving forward. Let's not do that again for a little bit. We made it. As a reward, we get some water. Fill up with water here and chill. Flow rate's amazing. Hydrate up while we're at the river, our camp's gonna be at higher ground. We ready to do this hydration check? Check. Water done. Cross this little backpacking bridge with this big ass bike. No worries. Literally. Should be about uh Somewhere between two to five miles from campsite. We're gonna push on while we still got some light. Ah, safety first. Okay, let me go. Yep. 
Single track. Single track is definitely breaking me in. We've got some stuff right here. Three main obstacles down. Um, film pretty good now. A couple rough obstacles um, that I was able to clear. Getting, getting my single track legs in. And uh, not too bad. Probably are pushing about five miles out from camp. We're gonna have about an hour hour and a half left of actual sunlight, but in the mountains, once you lose sun behind the mountains, it's gone. So, hopefully, we can find camp and set up within really the next hour. It's six o'clock now, so hopefully camp is set up a little after seven. That sun's gonna be going high in the mountains. Not too long. Jeez, all these roots, it feels like I'm back on the Appalachian Trail. Now we rolling. A little crazy. Oh, oh, oh. Crazy with the corner, crazy with the corner, stay on the trail. Okay, all right, clear that section. All right, all right, all right. Whew. We're making some fancy noises now. <laughs> this is the section. Definitely what I want to get more used to. So this will be fun here. Keep the pedals high. Go up the road. Oh, that one got me. Back on. And we're back. <laughs> yep, could have done without that. All right, all right, we're doing all right. I can't show you right now, but there is a beautiful river running through the valley right below me. Uh, duck. So I mean, this is, it is a rough ride for my first ride, but gorgeous. Just can't say enough how much this has been an amazing ride. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh. It's okay, it's okay, we made it. This is crazy and amazing, guys. Like, this is different. Camp one is found. Definitely some spots down there. Quite a view. I'm just gonna say, Barry assured me this was a hammock friendly hike. Hike. Listen to me, damn it. Bike. Gotta get this stuff right. Yeah. 
So uh, I, mean, I was talking about like right here would be would be bad. Um, we do have some right there, actually. Huh? I should really open my eyes before I uh, try to try like to get that on film. I got it. It's all me. I was wrong. Open your eyes. So What's that Busta song? Listen to. Yeah. So that's where we're not. We're running out. Maybe an hour. Yeah. Before, I mean, it's gone. For true, not mountain dark, but dark, dark. Yeah. yeah I think we're gonna call it here, guys. I still gotta clear this log in front of me. I got one more obstacle for the night. Well, yeah. Uh, there's another way down, right? Like right there beside you, but. Uh, hey, ride or die, man. Ride, ride or die. Ride, uh, um, so yeah, let's bring it down real quick and we'll take a look. There's water storage right here. Yeah, let me get settled in. We'll bring you back. Oh, yeah, man. It's, uh, you can see behind me, the sun's going to go down very soon. It's going to be dark, so we're going to call it here. Bikes are behind me. A little bit more of a, of a group site than we're looking at. But uh, let me show you. And somebody over there yelled, maybe offering a beer. Just saying. So, but we definitely got some hammock friendly spots here. Um, what do you think of that? Yeah, this will definitely work. Yeah. If you go solo, we could, we could, yeah, we could uh, V right off of, uh, let me bring it down. So we got this tree here, straight ahead. And then these, so we could go on a V. Yeah, we could do a V or, that's too close. Yeah, that's definitely too close there. The other one would probably be right here if we're worried about our no, Yeah, that one might have some limbs that want to give you something <laughs> yeah these are probably perfect um yeah uh, let me set up camp and i'll be back that's a hell of a day hell of a first day on the trip next a little sore from that single track but it's all good all right guys back with a hammock set up hopefully like that the hammock's hung guys they are setting up the rest of camp so the great thing about turp hooks from dutch they're already in place ready to go tonight so you just stretch it back out and there's a uh, some zing it there and i'll show you here what you can do you just put that second one right there so you can flip the tarp and hold it in place as well. Oh, all right. So first night in the hammock in a year or over a year, we got the Dream Hammock Sparrow, well tested, loved, Cuban fiber 11 foot uh, hammock gear tarp. It is 11 foot um, Dream Hammock Sparrow as well. And uh, yeah, so for my quilt, I'm actually using a, a Hammock Gear uh, 40 degree top quilt. Um, Hammock Gear, everything is comfort level. So that will definitely take me down below 40. And I'm gonna have to open my bottom quilt and borrow it from Gar Barry. Let me try that again. Borrowing it from Barry. Um, Cause that, uh, my under quilt is like zero degrees and that's comfort level. So uh, we need something a little warmer for tonight. I'm gonna throw the quilt on, get set take a whole bunch of water in and go from there. There's that wind we're gonna have tonight. Grab my water. Whew. This will be my first night in the hammock in uh, over a year. Yeah. 
I think the last time I was in a hammock, me and Missy tented the Foothills Trail in March. Might be us at uh, Jones Gap. Me and you? Yeah, you remember Jones Gap when I yeah. was collecting water? Yeah. So that's... <coughs> what was that, John? COVID. So that's probably uh, pushing 15 months. Did you get a bug in your throat? I had one go straight in my mouth and it hit the back of my throat where I could spit it out. I was praying to the Lord. I, I felt like I was gonna throw up. I, had, I got it all on camera. Then the minute I took my sunglasses off because it wasn't bright, I was getting dust in the eye. So I'm all trying to do single track. And my, oh, wow. <laughs> my, up here? Yeah. Nice. A little lesson learned. Man. Bike packing round one, um, felt good. Wrists are a little sore, but not much. Yeah, yeah just from that pumping. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be kind of crazy to be back in the hammock, which is crazy to say it's gonna be kind of crazy. It feels like when you lay in that, it's gonna drop, like it's gonna be a little low. Don't it look like you're close to the ground? Oh, because I'm on that hill? Yeah. I'll hop in and Actually, the lay is really nice, so I'll yeah. bring it up and just barely bring down the uh, uh, the whoopies if, if it is low. Yeah, it looks perfect, man. Gonna be a high water intake night. Yeah. And uh, a couple peas. Yep, definitely. No bears will be in camp. You know that 3 a.m. pee time thing. Pee time. Oh, yeah. Show do. I'm gonna watch the gonna see the sunset fall on uh, on the mountainside there which I'd always just love watching it disappear right. and actually got a little chill so I'll need my my Me puffy too. after a bit feels yeah. good I'm just got a little bit wet, wet. Uh, we're just gonna relax guys kick back and do nothing enjoy camp and uh, see if Barry wants to mess around and try a movie I don't know we'll, we'll find out all right guys we're gonna call it night here soon is about 10:30 got to camp about seven um set up camp about a little after seven anyway so good day 22 miles today got about 20 tomorrow as well um, but yeah great night beautiful night beautiful moon and stars great first day bike back absolutely phenomenal i'm gonna hit the hammock chill probably listen to the podcast a little bit before i I fall asleep here so there you go guys day report one see you for uh, breakfast or coffee tomorrow morning but yeah this was epic can you hear the water running behind me nice way to end the day peace out guys <laughs>